Hi, I'm Jamie Turney from Lawrence, Kansas, and today I'm going to talk to you about group insurance or group policies. These are policies that you probably are familiar with. You may have an employer that provides or initiates this coverage for you as the employee. You may also have this coverage or a group policy through your credit union. Also, these policies may be free to you as the employee. If that's the case, these are called non-contributory policies because you are not contributing to the premium. That means 100% of the employees must be allowed to participate. The other form is if you are actually sharing the premium with your employer. That's called a contributory policy because you're contributing to the premium. If that's the case, 75% of the employees must be allowed to participate. A few other characteristics about group insurance is that it's an annual renewable term policy. The insurance is going to get more expensive every year for whoever is paying for it, then there is no medical proof of insurability, which is a great benefit for a lot of employees, especially if they would be uninsurable. This is one no medical questions will be asked. The employer, however, is the owner of the policy. They pay for it. They control it. Therefore, they're going to receive what's called a master contract. You, as the employee, are going to receive what's called a certificate of insurance, not the entire policy. Also, the employee does get to choose their beneficiary. The death benefit will be paid to the employee's beneficiary at time of death. And usually, these policies are less expensive than individual policies. There's fewer administrative fees and fewer expenses. Now, a lot of people ask, what happens if I leave my job or I get fired? What happens to my insurance? Well, with group insurance, you actually have a convertible option. That means that you're going to take your term insurance policy that you had and you're going to convert it or change it to a permanent or a whole life policy. That means that that policy will now be two things. Number one, more expensive because it's a different form of insurance and it will be based on your attained age. Number two, it also is going to be more expensive because you're paying for it, but there is no proof of insurability and that's a big benefit. The, t the time crunch on this, however, is it must be done within 31 days of leaving that employer. There is no individual policy here. It is sponsored by the employer, so you have a time limit on how quickly you can change that over. Now, just as a review, remember, group insurance is provided by an employer or maybe a credit union. There are contributory um, options, which means the client or the policyholder is actually paying part of those premiums. If that's the case, 75% of employees must participate. If it's free to the employee, it's called non-contributory, and 100% of employees have to have the opportunity to participate. Also, they do have the convertible feature. You get to change that policy from a term policy to a whole life policy, which means you still get to keep the insurance. It will be more expensive but no medical questions will be asked. So that is obviously just a review of group insurance. Thank you for your time.